In today's Sims 4 build challenge, I want to build a house using only rooms from the Sims 4 gallery, but there's a catch. We have to use the first one we see. I've kind of been doing a series on this channel where we build the first room we see in the Sims 4 from Pinterest, Instagram, even Tumblr. So why not try the Sims 4 gallery? What could go wrong? And before we get started, I have to show you this adorable game called High Rise. In this game, you enter the High Rise metaverse, you can express your creativity and your identity, you can hang out with other people and exchange rare collectible items like outfits and accessories. So let's load this up and check this out together. When I first saw this game, I was really drawn to the avatars and the outfits. I think the art style is so adorable and I like how unique each outfit can be. Like look how cute these avatars are! There are weekly events we can participate in, they're gonna be down down here. They have different themes and we can compete for cool new prizes. And users in this game actually create all the rooms for the game. So like this is my room here. I've customized it a little bit with some new furniture that I got. It's a social first app built to support and inspire user design content, which I really like. We can also chat with high rise citizens. Let's say hello to this person here. You look nice. And in December, there will be a winter gold sale for 20% off gold. So if you want to join High Rise to explore and own your own world, you can download from the link in the description box down below. And thank you so much to High Rise for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. All right, so basically we're gonna come up here, open the gallery, hope that it connects. I have a video to do, please don't do this to me. Ooh. Under the category section over here, we're gonna turn on the rooms filter. And I'm not gonna count these even though I would love to use this room. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm gonna change this up here to hashtag and we're just going to type in living room. Let's start off with something easy, hopefully. What? <laughs> okay, wait, maybe we need to do like no space in between. Okay, so the, oh, the first one we have is a Christmas living room. So we're gonna download this. By the way, this is sorted by newest. We're not doing most popular or popular now. I'm gonna place this room down. Oh, look, we even have some windows. And typical rules of this kind of challenge say that you're not allowed to move anything around. We're gonna try and keep everything pretty much the same unless I need to move something over for the floor plan to work. For example, if I wanted to add another room onto this living room, like a kitchen and a bathroom over on this side, I would probably have to add another door here. I would have to move this chair around if it was in the way. So that kind of thing for the harmony of the house is allowed. But I'm not allowed to like go in and like rearrange this, like delete the couch or anything. We can't do any of that. And by the end of this, we're gonna have a really weird shape for our house. We're gonna have to try and make it look good on the outside. But let's check this out for now. We have some snow globes over there. Pretty normal looking living room for now. I am a little bit nervous about this challenge because I know that gallery lots can be kind of insane sometimes. <laughs> but you know what? We're putting our full trust into the community today, all right? We totally trust that we're gonna get very normal rooms every single time. But this one is pretty tame. I like that it's festive. Let's move on to the next one. Let's try and do a kitchen. Okay, so next we are going to look up kitchen. <laughs> one time on my channel, a long time ago, I did something like this. I don't know if it was this exact challenge. And the title said in Spanish, like, grandma's kitchen. But I said, abuela cucina, which doesn't mean kitchen. <laughs> Okay, searching up kitchen. I'm a little nervous. Let's go with like a Christmas theme maybe, hopefully. Dark-ish kitchen, okay? I'm kind of scared we're gonna end up with like a fake gamer girl style room. Like there's gonna be a dungeon attached to one of these. Oh no, but this is actually really cute. We've got the centerpiece on there. That could be kind of festive, like some... Christmas bread, all of the cabinets and everything. We've got the stove. I like the hanging herbs above there too. That's pretty cute. And there's clutter on the counters. You know, we love to see it. Okay, yeah, this is actually pretty adorable. We are going to connect this. We'll, we'll keep the archway. I did not really account for the wall height though. So I might just have to lower these down so those aren't going through a second floor if we have a second floor. So everything here, we're just gonna bring it down. So same kitchen, minor adjustments like that we'll accept. And I think I'm gonna put this over here. We'll take the room, we're gonna rotate it so that it's hopefully gonna stack right where we want the archway to go. Maybe we'll put it like right there. And this is what I was talking about here. We're just gonna have to like move that archway over a little bit. Anything blocking the way, we'll just move over to the other wall. We'll just like shrink that so it's over a little bit. And okay, it's cute. It's like kind of cohesive. Maybe we're hosting for, you know, family dinner, but we don't have a dining room. So we should 
probably get on that. I'm also trying to think ahead here too, like my shell is gonna start looking really weird. <laughs> let's go back to the gallery. Let's try and find a dining room for our family that we're hosting. Okay, looking up dining room, we are going to do, ooh, brick mansion dining. Another dark aesthetic. I see some vampires in there. Ooh, she's big too. Okay, whoa, okay, this is really pretty. There's a really beautiful archway over here, which I think is affecting the lighting a little bit, but let's kind of tour this for a second. I'm gonna leave it open how it's intended to be. I might have to close that off to make it work with our build, but this is so cool for like a dark spell caster maybe. Over on this side, we've got the globe. We have some really pretty curtains there. Very formal, very fitting for our occasion, even though there's no trace of Christmas going on in here at all, but that's okay. I love this. This is an archway from Get Famous that they've shrunken down and put in between the bookshelves. I might have to use that technique one day. Let's try and fit this onto our house. I think what we're gonna have to do here is close up this whole room, unfortunately. We'll replace the same wallpaper that they were using because there is a door over on that side. So if I can rotate it and attach it on right onto our living room right there, that might be perfect. Yeah, all we're gonna have to do is like raise this up just so it's not covering the door and that fits on there quite nicely. I did end up just like raising up the walls. So I'm gonna bring these back up to where they were. May as well, everything seems to be like at the medium wall height for now. And I think I have to add a ceiling on here too, just the way that it downloaded. Ooh, that made it so cool. This is freaking beautiful. I'm so happy we got this dining room. All right, so, so far our house kind of has like a darker theme minus the living room. There's a couple problems I'm seeing here though. The first one is I really wanted to have a second floor and I don't really have a hallway to put my stairs anywhere yet. I also want to have a bathroom on the bottom floor and we don't have that yet. What if we leave all the items that are here but extend this forward a little just so that I can fit a door like right there. We'll bring this over and the table that was there can go back. All of this stuff can move back to where it was. But now we just have a little extra space right there which is where I'm gonna put my hallway. Okay, let's go back to the gallery and hope that we find a hallway big enough to fit the stairs and the entryway. There we go and search. Ooh, we get an entrance hall here. It's a little small. I might have to pull it a little bit. We'll just place it down and I feel like I should probably be keeping like the door. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. We're keeping that. I love the door they used. All of this here, like the clutter for the front door is so adorable. And this here, I never use that item, but I'm gonna be using that more often. Okay, let's take this and I kind of want to have it face this way, obviously have our door at the front and I don't really want to delete the platform. So what if we just extend this room all the way to the back? We'll add some flooring in here so that it's gonna be recognized as an actual room. And then we'll just take the same wallpaper that they used and put it this way. We'll have to delete that window that we had there, but we'll add the same wood that they had. Actually, they had it facing this way. So we'll do that. Again, we're gonna have to build the ceiling up here so that it closes it off. Cute. Oh, I love this. Okay, we are going to take this room now. And actually now we have some options. We could do a bathroom over to this side and we can do some stairs leading up. So I wanna do like a couple bedrooms. We can take these stairs and maybe we won't have a whole lot of room for the bathroom unless we get like a tiny one that we could fit in there. But I don't know how likely that would be. Or instead of pushing our stairs against the wall like that, we could take them and just put them right in the middle. It'll be a little bit awkward since there's nothing really back there, but then we do have room for a bathroom over here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the most awkward house ever. Okay, let's go back to the gallery and find a bathroom and search. Okay, cute. We have this little one. It looks small. It's just like a three by three bathroom. So we're gonna download that and place that just right over here connecting onto the other room. We'll have no problem getting that in there. Again, a little weird that the door is way back there, but she's cute. And look at all the clutter we're finding today. We've got the red towels in there, maybe going with like the Christmas theme. We, we'll take it, we'll take it. Okay, let's figure out now the second floor. Although I am looking at this weird gap and thinking like maybe it would be nice to put a garage or something of, oh no, my presents. Maybe it would be nice to put a garage or something there, but I'm gonna wait and see what the second floor ends up looking like. We should probably get another hallway. If we have our stairs up here, that just makes sense to me. So maybe instead of looking up hallway, we'll just look up hall. This is gonna work and I think I can get my stairs like right on that side. I'm actually gonna place it right beside my stairs for a minute just to kind of like pull this apart. I wanna make sure nothing gets deleted. So I'm just gonna bring that out, move everything over so it's back in the center 
center the way that it was supposed to be. We got some like pastels in here, but it's still neutral in a way. And I'm hoping now we'll be able to just put this right over here. Our stairs will fit in there. We're gonna have to bring this out just a little bit more. And we might have to bring this out a little bit just so that our Sims can get around there. And there we go. We've got all our items in here in kind of the places that they're supposed to be. It would be perfect if we could get like a small bathroom right there, but that would be really lucky to find a three by two bathroom that fit. So I might just leave that. We might end up like deleting that door, but I do want to find a bedroom. So back to the gallery. This is where it could get kind of interesting. Yes, winter holiday bedroom. Perfect. All right, we are going to download this and I think I could maybe get that to fit right over here. Where's the door on this one? Oh, look at the little outside thing. Okay, you know what? I'm probably gonna try and keep that stuff if I can, cause that matches up with the windows we have there and that little like roofing piece. And the door is in the back. Okay, let's try and get that on this way. Obviously we're gonna have to get rid of that window there, but oh, this is cute. I love the color in here. Definitely getting a wintry vibe. We've got the snowflakes on the window, this thing, nice and festive. I actually really like that door on this side too. So we're gonna keep that door. Maybe I can replace the other ones depending what we get. And from the front of the house, I mean, she's coming along a little bit. We're on a roll. Let's do another bedroom, but I feel like I should look up like maybe kid bedroom, something different. So we get a different first result. Come on, wintry. Okay, it's a toddler room. Looks like maybe like sports related. Still works with our color scheme up here though. Oh, and we have a diagonal wall. That is gonna be so fun to roof. Okay, where are the doors? Uh oh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute though. Look at the lighting coming in. The theme in here is really adorable. You can definitely picture like a little kid playing in here, all the toys on the floor. We have a door there and we have a door on the diagonal. And I think I'd rather not use the diagonal door. But let's delete that for now. We'll stick this on over here. And I think I might have to adjust that door a little bit too. So we'll delete that one and we can replace it with this here. And that's actually still gonna match my bedroom. We're just gonna move over that chair a little bit so you can still get into this room. And okay, yeah, not happy about the diagonal wall at all, just in terms of like how the roofing is gonna go for this. We could fit a bathroom along the back here, like down that hallway, I think there should be room for us to be able to fit a bathroom. So let's go back. Maybe we have a new bathroom by now. If not, we can just like pick the second one. Okay, cool. Going with the blue bath and laundry. These Sims are getting everything they need. They even have laundry in this one. And it looks like the doors are gonna line up. So we can just tack this one right on the end. I'm gonna delete these doors and replace it with that one just to keep it cohesive. Ooh, look at the tile in here. We are getting really lucky in terms of our color palettes in here. You know what might have happened? What I'm kind of thinking because up here looks like very traditional family home. Like there's definitely at least one kid living here. What if the parent got bit by a vampire? And that explains the slow takeover back here of like the vampire style furniture or maybe the parent is a spellcaster and that's where they hold their like meetings or something. That's kind of a fun idea. I think we should go with definitely the parent is an occult sim. Maybe not the children, but we'll see. I think I might add one more room. I just don't really know where to put it. I wanted to put it back here. I wonder if I could find like a kid playroom or something and just like stick that on the back. That would make sense why there's a door leading to that room and like not really part of the hallway. Let's look up kids playroom. Cute. Okay. This looks like this is exactly what I was looking for. We've got toys in here. Really cute with the purple and everything, even though it's not going to match our blue, but that's okay. Oh my God, it's massive. <laughs> These kids are spoiled. This is huge. They have a TV in here. All the clutter on the floor. We have like multiple toys, like so many options for them to play with and very cute furniture choices too. I love the purple in here. We've got a dollhouse over there. We have a uh, like homework area over here too. Some headphones up there. Oh yeah, this person is spoiling their kids. Okay, so we have a double door right there. I'm hoping that I can put it right here where these windows were. I really don't want to 
to move this stuff around too much. I'm going to just like move this a little bit. We might have to pull it out a tiny bit. That way we can move all of this stuff over and all is good. I'm going to delete the door back there and replace it with the matching ones that we've got. And we're going to take this and just put it right on there. It's almost lined up. I just have to move this over a little bit and hope that it doesn't mess with anything. Ooh, okay, we're good. Posters and everything are just going to have to move a little bit. And we'll have to replace the windows, which I think I might end up having to do anyway. But for the most part, this upstairs was pretty successful. Now we have the challenge of trying to like put this together into an actual house. And our shell is looking kind of crazy. We've got this like diagonal part hanging over there, multiple different windows happening, which honestly, we're probably going to have to replace some of them. Oh, we have a little back door here too. Cute. We're going to delete this random door leading to nowhere. I really want to keep that there. I just don't know how I'm going to connect it. And since this is up on a platform, I'm going to have to add a platform on the outside too. So let's start off nice and easy with that. And let's go ahead and start to roof it. I'm thinking at the front here, I'll definitely be able to put like that there. Maybe even another one right here and we just pull that over. So far, so good. I mean, we could go like that, bring in the adjusters and we have like a cute random thing right there. And since we have two like reddish brown accents on the wall, I'm gonna try and match that with this roofing here. So we're gonna have a red roof. Maybe we can do like a smaller roofing part here. I actually quite like this blue going on with that. So what if I put that all over the house? <laughs> and then up top, I wonder if it would look weird with those shingles. I have a feeling this is gonna come down to trial and error, but I mean, let's keep roofing it. Let's see if we've got something here. So this piece can go all the way to the back. I might have to do one of these here. We could try and get away with like a tower right there. And then this is the back part that just makes no sense at all. Like what if we kind of tried to like rotate that roofing, bring this even further back? That is not quite what I, <laughs> that's not what I wanted. Okay, but what if we went in with a hipped roof here? I'm gonna see if this works. I don't really know, but I feel like I might be able to line that up with the corner. Wait a minute. <gasps> And then we just adjust it. Wait a minute. How did that even work? We do have something hanging over there, but what if I made like a balcony in the back? Like say this part came over here and then we connect it right there. And then we're gonna have a little bit of a balcony. It makes sense because we also have this back part here so we could put columns there and just like hold it up like this. That works. And then the columns here will just hold up the roofing up top. I, it's kind of ridiculous, but also not at the same time. And our kids can have like a tiny little balcony balcony out here. Just why not? <laughs> there we go. So there's our roofing along the back. And then on this side, maybe we just keep it simple. We'll like bring this down here, adjust it a little bit, and maybe put like another gabled roof piece over here. This is definitely not the best thing I've ever roofed in my life, but <laughs> it just keeps going to, I would venture to say it's not the worst. Okay, <laughs> we need to fix this. I'm changing the shingle color to white, replacing that roofing that I had there with just like some detailing. We can put some columns here holding that up, some platform paint. And honestly, I feel like we need to just add the windows and that's gonna make it better. I don't really wanna put windows right there because I know that then I'm gonna mess up the room that is in here. Like I can't delete that. So we're gonna have to find something to go there so it doesn't look so empty, but I can put a window right here. Maybe because we're decorating for the holidays here, we could put a massive like Christmas thing right there. Like a huge wreath, right? <laughs> right there to hide the fact that we don't have any windows. Listen, desperate times, all right? We need to start to landscape this thing in a final desperate attempt to make this work. First thing we have to do is cover up that awful spot over there. So you know what we could do is use some vines going up the side of the house. That way it's gonna like hide the fact that there's no window there. We can put a tree right here so that it's hiding that part of the house too. Maybe we could actually build this out so there's a patio there and we'll add a gate. With our terrain paint, I'm just gonna make a pathway. I'm gonna add some bushes around, maybe some red trees. This is a really weird place for this house to be. <laughs> right in Oasis Springs, but you know what? We're working with what we got. Oh, the red mailbox could be cute. I do like the random like red out here. Not a color that I normally use in my builds very often, but tis the season. Oh my God, gnomes. This is totally the kind of house to have gnomes. <laughs> 
I need to stop. I need to stop with this house. Okay, so after all of the landscaping, this is what it turned out like. I even tried to salvage this with a pond. I tried everything. You know what? I honestly think it wouldn't be so bad if we could just go like this. Like add a window or two right there and it wouldn't be that bad. But that is <laughs> the outside of this challenge. I added some gardening stuff. You can do floral arranging over here. That there is from Cottage Living. In the back here, we've got a small seating area. We have a swing set for the kids. The wishing well in the back there. All of the gnomes that are just hanging out. I added a barbecue in there as well. On the top balcony, I just added some like kid friendly things. They can't actually fall off the balcony in The Sims, I think. Nah, your Sims are good. Along the side, there were no windows like from this point on, so I hit it with a tree. And there is our weird outside of the house. Everything on the inside too was not compromised by any of the window placements. Nothing got removed unless it absolutely had to be it to ensure that the house would work out. <laughs> but there we go. That is our weird building a house in The Sims 4 using the first rooms we see on the gallery challenge. It's a hard one, but it is really fun if you guys want to give that challenge a go. Thank you again to Highrise for sponsoring this video. Again, if you guys want to check it out, you can click the download link down in the description below. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.